In this video, we're going to multiply and divide thirds to simplify them. So the first one we've got is root 2 times root 8. Now, before we saw that if you have a multiplying under the square root, that you can split them into square roots. Well, we can do the opposite. If we've got two square roots multiplied together, then we can write that as one square root with the multiplying underneath it. So that would become root 16, and root 16 we know is 4. So root 3 times 2 root 6. Well, what's happening between the 2 and the root 6? Well, there's a multiply there. So we've got root 3 times 2 times root 6. So we can reorder that. Let's go 2 times root 3 times root 6. So I've got the two thirds together, and I can write that as one big square root. And then I can do the multiplying under there. 3 times 6 is 18. Now, root 18, I can see if a, a square number divides into that. Well, it does. Not does. So, 2 times root 9 times root 2. Root of 9 is 3. So, and then 2 times 3 is 6. So, I've got 6 root 2. Okay. Let's move on to my third example. 3 root 5 times 2 root 15 over here. So first thing I'm going to do is put the whole numbers on one side, the 3 times 2, and then the root 5 times root 15. Let's combine the uh, whole numbers together, so 3 times 2 is 6. Root 5 times root 15 is then going to be 5 times 15. Uh, now we can do the multiplying under my square root, which will become root 75. And again, I can see if there's a square number that divides into 75, or well that is... And that is 25, so I'd get 6 times root 25 times 3. So I get 6 times split out my two thirds. Yeah, and then uh, root 25 is 5, so I'm going to get 6 times 5 times root 3, which would be the same as 30 root 3. Now, last one is this multiplying. So just like timesing, if I have two thirds so timesing, I can make that one big a square root with it dividing inside. 75 divided by 3 is 25, root 25 is 5. And there's my answer.